Good morning everyone. So I just arrived here at an old mine site and currently I'm waiting for my friend Stefan to arrive since he has a longer drive. And really excited for today since um, we are going to explore parts uh, that none of us has been down before. So right now I'm going to unpack my car and uh, wait for him. So I quickly wanted to show you uh, basically all the gear I use on a day like this. It's very gear intensive to explore old mines, taking photos. Would you be interesting to see a little more of a breakdown of what's inside all of these bags and what I have in my camera bag? Please uh, write in the comments below. Sorry about the terrible GoPro footage. But here are we making our way through the vegetation to our descent point. On our way Stefan told me that it was 2013 he and a friend visited this mine only to descend where the rails lead down. And did not have time to explore the rest as we will try today. Hopefully we will have time to descend at the rails so I also get to see it. So we have got to the place where we are going to descend and I will quickly show you. So here you can see the hole we are that we are going to descend into it's a square hole like 10 meters down so it will be very interesting i will pack away my camera now and prepare for the descent Here we are using rope protectors. It is very critical that they are in the right position when you ascend. A wear on the rope on a sharp edge can occur very fast. I am also adjusting Stefan's since his descent line varied a bit. At the bottom of the first hole we didn't find any overwhelming things, but it is good to know how it looks like. We checked how things looks like all the way to the water level and it didn't hide any surprises. Here I walk on the bottom of the open pit, towards the next hole. At these two holes we saw some signs that someone has been down these holes before us at some point. And unfortunately I didn't manage to photograph this area since the extremely hot temperature contra the nice cold temperature underground fogged my lens on my camera when I tried, so I abandoned the idea. I did go first into this and here is Stefan working his way down. This is probably the best descent of the day. 
free hanging for a great part in a large space. Here you can see the beams from underneath and the rails going down. There is a large number of barrels at the bottom, wonder what they were filled with. We don't proceed past this line since there is a false floor near these. I saw an interesting cavity when I inspected the area, looked like it could be some kind of tunnel, so we said that we need to investigate this before we leave. Working our way up here was a bit tricky. Our rope bags got caught in various debris, so we needed to haul them up bit by bit. This was the last descent for today to the mystery cavity. We rigged so we both could descend at the same time since it was wide and open. And the cavity, yeah, well, it consists of not so much actually, but more than nothing, but it felt good to know. That concludes our adventure for today, and here is some of the images I took. If you want to see more, you can head over to my Instagram where I will upload more of them. And as always, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do. Bye for now.